I mean, ten months is basically a year, right? In your opinion? Anyway, welcome back to another video. Um, this time, we're gonna be doing something fun. Um, I will be doing a ten month redraw, which, but I'm gonna call it a one year redraw, of my Warrior Cats characters that I redesigned a while back. Um, so yeah, they're getting redesigned for the third time now, and let's see if I've improved. And if y'all don't know, this is the video that I'm talking about. It is, to this day, my most popular video, and it still gets the most views every day out of all my videos, which is crazy to me. So I'm hoping that this one also becomes popular. Uh, we'll see. Um, so yeah, for our first character, I'm going to try to keep this in the same order that I did the original video. We are going to be re-redrawing um, Bloodlust. <laughs> so my main goal with this was... It doesn't have to be an exact carbon copy of my redraw from January. I just wanted to improve the pose, improve the line art, and show like how I've changed in my coloring, shading, and lighting, and just in my general style. And just a quick disclaimer, I do not draw cats almost at all anymore. Um, so I am very rusty and warrior's joke rusty. I'm sorry. I'm very very out of touch when it comes to this so this is definitely not as good as it probably could have been if i'd been practicing my cats but i've been working on my humans instead so you know what at least i'm still drawing every day <laughs> now for the actual piece of art itself i tried to keep like most of the markings and scars in the same place although i did change it up a little bit and add a few other scars just like to what suited my taste and to make the markings a little more realistic um and yeah, I think I, I think I have improved a lot over the past 10 months, even if I haven't been practicing cats, so that's bloodlust. Next up is the titular character of this old comic. Oh, I forgot to mention that this was part of an old comic that I did in like 2020 or whenever. Um, you'll know if you watched the original video. <laughs> but yeah, here is Whale Paw, uh, who was going to be named Whale Song when she got her warrior name, but unfortunately it never came to pass because I abandoned the comic because it was awful. Um, but yeah, for this one, I m mostly just wanted to make sure that I kept her fluff and then toned down the very saturated blue that I used. I feel like each year I just learn how to desaturate things more. <laughs> um, Y'all are gonna have your eyes burn out of your skull when we get to Raspberry Paw though. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I think it's really interesting to see how far I've come. Like, the improvement between the original two is a lot, and but that was three years difference, and I feel like the improvement between these next two, the January one and this one, even though it's only a 10-month difference, I feel like I have come really far, which is crazy, because once again, I haven't even been practicing cats. Like, this is what I've been working on. <laughs> But, um, yeah, once again, I did change some of her markings, and you can see here, I was kind of trying to decide which, which, like, shapes and colors I liked on her, um, and yeah, I tried to keep, like, my style, just the normal one that I use, semi, semi-realistic, I guess, because the proportions are sort of there, but also, like, I gave the cat eyelashes, so how realistic can it be? <laughs> So y'all can let me know, I know some of you have asked for more cat videos, so y'all can let me know if you like this, and once again, I still don't draw a lot of cats lately, but I can try if you guys want me to, so please let me know down in the comments, and I will do my best to post more cat videos if that's what you guys want. Also, I think it's just really funny looking back, like, if... 2020 me could see how far I've come she would be going absolutely crazy right now so it's nice to just acknowledge that I've improved once in a while um because I generally just keep pushing myself keep moving forward and I know I'm not perfect right now but I have come a long way and you know what I'm gonna let myself be proud of that for a minute <laughs> and I think y'all should do that too be proud of yourselves if you've improved um so yeah there's my motivational message and there's Willpaw Next up is the hot pink mess known as Raspberry Paw. To be honest, I had no idea what 2020 me was thinking when she designed this character in the original webcomic. Um, <laughs> I, 
I mean, just just hold on. Let me let me go figure out what color this is. I'm going to I'm going to show you guys how I figure out what the color is. So this is for figuring out the actual name of a color. So what you want to do is go in and go to your value and then copy the hexadecimal. Um, and then go to coolers, coolers.co, go into the generator and click on one of the colors and then just paste the hexadecimal and it'll tell you the official name of that color. So yeah, hot magenta. He was hot magenta originally, like, <laughs> and that's a trick that I invented, I think, but feel free to use it. It's, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, I'm glad we've gotten over the hot magenta phase, and actually, let me find out real quick what this main color is. Okay, I just did the trick, and it's called thistle, uh, so that's, that's much better than hot magenta, especially when we're trying to do realistic, and there's raspberry paw. Alright, we've come to our fourth and final cat of the group, and this is toxic paw. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched the video, originally she fell into a toxic vat and turned bright purple and had thermal vision. And, um, you know what, I, okay, real quick guys, I have an obsession with colors, like, I go to, I go to hardware stores and I just steal all their paint chips, so I'm gonna find out what the original color and what the new color are called. Okay, I just did it, and the original color for the 2020 was called Veronica, <laughs> and this is, yeah, it's a lot, and then the new one that I just did is called Rose Quartz, and it is much more realistic, much softer, much nicer, so... For those of you who also have color obsessions, please share with me the craziest color names and shades you've come across because I am freaking obsessed with colors. Ah, sorry. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, yeah, what you're seeing on screen now is basically just me um, using the select tool to trace under the line art. Uh, you guys know the drill by now. And then I'm going to fill it all in with rose quartz, <laughs> our actual good color. And um, yeah. So we fill it all in, and then for the markings, I basically did the same thing, because I actually like what January Me did for the markings. The stripes were a little tedious, so I kind of just scribbled them on there towards the end, but no one will notice. And that's Toxic Paw. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I certainly feel as if I've come a long way from both the June 2020, May 2020, and the January of this year um and yeah if you guys want more content like this please leave a like a uh, comment or even consider subscribing that would really make my day um yeah i'm kind of proud of this to be honest all right happy thanksgiving everyone and have a nice day